Have a drink. I don't drink. You will tonight. Why? Because I've said so. Sorry. You hate the army, don't you, Epstein? Yes, Sergeant, I do. Well, the army hates you just as much. And they picked you, they picked the bottom of the dung heap. You're dung. You don't mind me saying that, do you, Epstein? You're ding dong dumb. If you say so. Damn right I do. I know the irony is, Epstein. Is it Epstein or Epstein? Either one. The irony, Epstein or Epstein, is that although you hate every disciplined bone in my body, you're going to miss me when I go, like a baby misses its mother's nipple. Are you going somewhere, Sergeant? On April 3, Thursday, 1943, that's tomorrow morning, I know how much you're going to miss me when I go, but I don't want anyone making a fuss. I don't want any gifts or anything. You can clean a couple of toilets if you want, but that's it. Where are you going? Reporting to Dickinson Veterans Home, Camp Rayoki, West Virginia. I believe in gratitude. The army's going to replace this steel plate with sterling silver. I'll be able to hock my head in any pawn shop in the country. How about that? How long will you be away, Sergeant? I just told you, you dumbass. I'm going to a veterans hospital. You be, when you go to a veterans home, you become a veteran. You walk around in a blue bathrobe and listen to Jack Benny and play checkers with all the other basket weavers. What I'm trying to tell you, you toilet bowl cleanser, is my act in the army is over. It's been terminated. Sorry to hear that, Sergeant. Don't give me none of your compassion. Compassion will get you a Star of David at Arlington Cemetery. Yes, Sergeant. One night in a room here, I heard a game being played in the barracks. I heard Jerome ask each and every man what they would do if they had one week left to live. I put my five dollars down on the bed like everyone else and playing that game. Here's my money. You tell me if I would have won that game. The game is over, Sergeant. Not to me it's not. Now what would what do you think I would do if I had one week left? What's that? I would take one mal adjusted misfit dumbass soldier and turn him into one of the finest disciplined warrior soldiers that the army can be proud of. That would be my victory. And you are that dumbass soldier, Epstein, and by God, I'm going to do it and get win back me five bucks. None of us really did it, Sergeant. It was just a game. No, it's not. On your feet, Epstein. Really, Sergeant, I don't think you're in a condition. Damn, chump! Oh, a crime has been committed in the barracks tonight. An uncommissioned officer has welded a gun at an enlisted man without provocation. And that provocation has come from an inebriated platoon leader. I am that platoon leader, Epstein, and it is your unquestionable duty to ensure that it gets reported to the proper authorities. I never really thought you were going to shoot me, Sergeant. Take my weapon, goddammit. What do you mean, take it? How am I going to take it? Demand it, you weasel bastard, or I'll blow your puny brains out. Okay, okay. May I have your gun, Sergeant? Pistol, turdhead. May I have your pistol, Sergeant? Force it out of my hand. Push that out of your hand. Grab my wrist, if you dare. Good. Okay. 
Good. Now, if you just get a good night's rest, and all this will be sorted out tomorrow. To ensure that this crime is reported correctly, you need some witnesses. Call in the platoon. The platoon? Oh, you don't want to really do that in front of all of those guys. Call them in now, soldier. Hey, guys.